Hello, everyone, and welcome back into SWH Live. I'm Chris Treft. He's downtown George Brown, and it's time for the Pama Pro Invitational. $25,000 on the line, winner take all, Pama Labeda Golden Knights, Mission Labeda Snipers. George, it does not get any better than this. It does if my team was in it. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. I promise. But listen, it doesn't, Treft. You've got the snipers. You've got Pama. Pama trying to get their first Palma Pro title, yeah. but trying to get their second pro title of the season. They've got a Narch one, they're yep. trying to get their second. Snipers trying to win their own Invitational, you know what I mean? Because it's McMahon like, is his tournament, he's trying to win it, yeah. you know? He won the he's first. Done, and they've I'm, done it before. They've done it before. Times. But let me tell you this, this is going to be an outstanding game. From the quarterfinals all the way here to the finals, yeah. every game has been a nail biter. Every game has been close. We haven't had blowouts, they've been close, tight checking yep. games. You can't ask for anything more in a division like this. Well, the lights just went off on us, so that means it's almost time. I'm getting chills. Hey, listen. Because we know that this building is absolutely packed, George. It's going to be an incredible game. It's going to be an absolutely incredible game. Treft, you've got two of the best teams in the world. In the world. Ready to play this game. It's Snipers. It's Palma. Now, coming into this tournament, I don't think anybody's surprised that these are two of the teams not in the finals. At all, not at There's all. four or five other teams that people wouldn't have been surprised of yeah. if they were in this final either. But you've got these two teams who are going to give us an incredible final. I know it. They yeah. gave us an incredible, incredible semifinal that they both won. Yeah. I'm sure, they're going to give us a great game here. George, we talked about this tournament potentially being the most loaded professional roller hockey tournament of all time, the most deep roller hockey tournament of all time, the best roller hockey tournament of all time. We've talked about that. We've talked about with people texting us, tweeting yeah. us, sending us the info. Do that Everyone, today and, too. Yes. Do that today Everyone too. kind of agreed with us and now you have two teams vying to win the quote unquote best and most loaded roller hockey tournament ever. That just, just leads to so much drama. It leads to so much intensity. But it also shows you what chemistry does. Not yeah. to say that some of these, these other teams didn't have chemistry, but yep. you look at it, you look at from, from top down, the teams that are, are getting better and better are the teams that have been together forever. Yep. Snipers, Pama, you've got Black Ice who's played together forever. Yep. You've just got guys that have these cores that have been together and that speaks volumes to roller hockey, yeah. you know? And we had, we had NHL players playing in this division. That's how deep it was. Like good NHL players. Good NHL players. Three-time Stanley Cup champion, Pat right. Maroon, Adam Ernie had 11 goals last year in a shortened season. Good NHL yeah, who, players. Who are great roller players yeah. who love the game. Not just it, It's not just a throwaway tournament yeah. just because they want to have fun. They love the game of roller hockey, and they've always said it makes their ice game better. Yeah. And so you've got two great teams here. And listen, some of these, some of these guys on these teams are roller dads. They're just roller dads. They they love the game. They might yeah. play some ice, but anytime you turn around at one of these summer tournaments, they're there. Yeah. You know, and so it, it's just great to see our game hopefully continuing to grow. And with games like this, when the, the house is packed, we have good games, you have talent like yeah. this. You're throwing out names like Junior Cadiz, Travis Snow, Ethan Chavera, Brett Olin. You're, you're throwing out all of these names. How I can go on and on. You've got you've got Jordan. Goaltenders. That's TNT, just one team. They didn't go to the other team. One team, <laughs> and then you turn around and you got Matt White. You got the Combs brothers. You got you got every. You got Kramer. You got Tommy Bruce. I can go on and on. Yeah. This is the only time you're going to see a comb, George. Wow! It's wow! He's Bro going Fly low. Hammer. I liked it though. I liked it. I'll give you, I'll give you credit. I liked it. <laughs> it was I liked a good it. one. It was. It was, good it was. One. Okay. So obviously we have two loaded teams. We also talk. We've been talking the whole tournament about how you know maybe we're overthinking things a lot. We're trying to overanalyze. That's what we're here for. We're going to do it again. So. Keys to success for both teams, and then name me one player who's going to be an unsung hero because we know all of the guys that are going to be big time heroes. But give me the keys to success, and who are those guys to watch out for? They're going to be huge in their teams winning this game that we might not know of. I'm going to give you first off the X factor yes. for both teams in the entire game is TNT. He started. TNT is going to be the X factor for the entire game. He can set a tone. For his team, he can set a tone for the game. That can be a good or a bad thing. Yes. So he is the X factor in this game. If you're asking me for keys to the game, the first goal is going to be huge. Score first. Whoa, man. Slice is getting booed. Right, right. <laughs> first goal. Like kind of a home game. Right. First goal is huge. Why? Yeah. It's a big stage. It sets your momentum. First goal is huge. Two, the puck is gold. What we see a lot of times, turnovers in these games can cost you. 
the game, even if it's one. Yeah. But if it's at a crucial time, at a crucial point in the game, that one turnover can cost you the game and be the difference between yeah. you walking out of here with 20K and not walking out of here with 20K. And finally, do your job. My star players have to be my star players. My yep. goal scorers exactly. have to be my goal scorers. My top defenders, PJ Cavaya, Shane Fox, Brett Olinger, Cooper, Garrett Hart, they have to do their job. Yeah. Go out and play your role. We talked about it in our locker room. We, have, we are so deep up front. Defensemen, do your job. Let the forwards yeah. handle the scoring. Jump into the play. Don't lead it. Don't do too much. Don't do much more than you have to. If I'm not noticing you as a defenseman, that's a great thing. P.J. Cavaya, we say his name every time he blocks a shot or something, but it's because of the fact that he's back there and he's just a stalwart on defense. You know, so I, I think yeah. that's the third key to the game. Do your job. Unsung heroes. If we're going to unsung heroes, I'm actually going to say for the Pamela Beta Golden Knights, it's not really an unsung hero, but Ethan Chavira. Ethan Chavira. Unbelievable this tournament so far. He's been unbelievable this tournament, but I say one of the unsung heroes because he's going to have to be today. Yeah. You know they're going to concentrate on no and Cadiz. When you think of Pama, you think of no and Cadiz. Yes. They're the goal scorers. They're the natural goal scorers. You want to make sure they put the puck in the net. Exactly. Ethan is always good for that timely goal, whether it was a slap shot in the quarterfinal or being dangerous in the semi. Whatever it was, he's got, he's got to be their unsung hero. So I think he's one to watch. And over on the sniper side, as we get ready for the national anthem, Rowan Porter. He sets the tone on the bench, yeah. whether you believe it or not. Attitude. And I learned this when we picked up Alexi for our team. Picking him up. Locker room, attitude, and attitude on the bench is huge. And now we're actually going to get to a moment of silence here in the building for Matt Koleski. Unbelievable human being. I don't know if you can name someone who's been more or has had more an impact. So we're going to get to that right now. Thanks, Maddie. And we're going to take a second here. Matt Kluski, I, I mean, we, we'd miss the whole game if we talked about the impact this guy has. It's just, it's just incredible. Yeah. We get the national anthem here. Folks, you heard that ovation. This is literally a packed house. Yes. There's people that are literally arguing over seats. We don't have tickets here. We probably should have sold tickets because then I should have got to the dough and sold some tickets. Go to the Star tonight. <laughs> well, Please. hey, speaking of the Ameristar and gambling, who would you put your money on for this game? Oh man, and Throwing let me apologize for the, uns the, bus. the unsung heroes because it's so hard to pick them. Yeah. Because everybody's so well known on these teams, yep. it's hard, but. Uh, I'm changing my Pama to Daniel Echeverry. Ethan's too well known. Echeverry's the unsung here. And I like the Rowan Porter pick. Everybody knows the snipers. <laughs> Rowan Porter may not see a second of this game. Uh, you're gonna, we're going we're gonna to hear him. But we're going to hear him the entire yeah. time. So, but. Uh, I, I, w I would say if you were a gambling man, but we if. know that's true. So, George, who are you putting your money on? Oh, man. Red or black? Where are you putting it? Well, usually I put, never mind. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go, no, snipers. Snipers. 
You heard it. This man knows more than anybody else about roller hockey. He's picking snipers. And there's one reason I'm going there, and I'm not even going to say why, but I'm sure you know why. But I'm going snipers. Prove me wrong, but I'm going snipers in this one. I mean, it's going to be fun, and it's it's one of those things where this is almost Tours. You won it. That was great. Narch, Pommel won it. And now we come to State Wars, and all the eyes are on it because it's almost, it's uh, you know, it's the last of the Triple Crown. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have the Derby, the Preakness, you know, and then you have the Belmont. Like, it's the it's it's the third one. It's the crown jewel is the most money, the most prize money. So that's why huh. you, sometimes you get a lot better players. The Maris Tower <laughs> would have been great tonight. If I... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they would have renamed that place after you if Rinkster would have won. I'll but then I wouldn't you. have you in this game with me. And then what the heck am I supposed to talk about when a game I is going? I don't boring? care about that. But no, not. It, oh, I'm supposed to just know, call so the game? Like, we have, we have so much fun when we're up here, though. Yeah. We have a blast. Like, when games get bored, best game ever. We've called that time Rink Rat sat for seven minutes. Yeah. Man, we the had stories an we could tell. Time. The stories yeah. we could tell. We've had a great time up here. But everybody's filing in now. Listen, while you're at home, or if you're listening to us, or whatever the case may be. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Tweet us. Text us. If you don't have our phone numbers, we're not giving them to you now. Tweet us. Instagram. Do whatever you need to do. We like to have the conversations during the games, especially if we bring we up hear certain from topics. You. We, we want to hear yeah. from you. Roller hockey's a big family. That's why, you know, that's why we joke a little bit more. Obviously, if we were in the NHL, we <laughs> wouldn't talk over each other as much and have as much fun. But it's, roller hockey's one big family. We all know that you know who we are. We know who you guys all are. This game, when we watch pro championships, we're all doing it together. So let us know your thoughts. <clears throat> let us know your thoughts. Send we'll, me. We'll have some fun. First things first. <clears throat> Who do you guys have winning this game? Yeah. Well, send hey, me your final score. We're we're, we're throwing you all out there. You let you you send it to us. If we catch it, that's right. Worth putting it out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Send it to me. Send me your final score. And also, the X factor in the game can only be one player. Not from each team. One player overall. George. Buzzer just win. It's go time, baby. Warm ups are over. For roller hockey supremacy, $25,000 on the line. The Mission Labeda Snipers, the Pama Labeda Golden Knights. For all the money and all the glory. And it's coming up next. Let's go time. Welcome back in to SWH Live. I'm Chris Treft. I'm next to downtown George Brown, the one and only. Oh, yeah. A fact. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, man. Pamela Beta Golden Knights in the fancy red jerseys going from left to right. In period one on your screen, Mission La Beta Snipers, they've won this tournament a few times in the white jerseys going from right <coughs> to left. I wonder left. how early we're going to get our first goal, Treft. Junior Cadiz wants it to be now. Pass to the right side. George Thomas, a shot. Redmond makes the save. So we have the predictions flowing in, George. We do. They're coming in. I've got them. And don't worry. I didn't forget about anybody. I'm just trying to make sure I get a bunch of them before I announce them. Combs. Treff, we got a prize if somebody gets the tour one off for a prize or something, if somebody gets the exact score and winner. Shot goes up and out of play. See me putting tour on the spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you something. Okay. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll get you something. All right, sweet. But you have to be following Tor Hockey on social media. Okay. In order to win. Cool. Tor Hockey. Instagram. Yeah. Just Tor, at Tor Hockey, right? You know, yeah, maybe we'll do, a, we'll do a pair of gloves. Oh, nice. Nice. That's great. A pair of gloves. If anybody gets it exactly right. Here comes Echeverry. Here was your pick to click down low. Mooney in forehead try. And that one is deflected into the corner. Redmond with an excellent poke check. Early chance for Palma. It's advantage red early. Now a shot put on. And that one is stopped. 
Mayhew with that opportunity. What an excellent save by Redmond. Redmond's dialed in early. That's not good for Palma. 16.50. Left in period number one. Palma settles thing down. Sigmund pushes it behind the net. Shane Fox up to Sigmund. Sigmund now to the near side boards. Sends it back into his own end for Shane Fox. Ooh. Ooh, just missing on a pass to Tommy Bruce. Would have been in all alone with Tommy Tartaglioni. John Seamer comes away with the puck on the forecheck. Eton Chavera, high slot, fakes the shot, cuts right. Eton shoots, Redmond the save. And that one is held on to by Redmond, who is in early. Palma is coming out clicking. It's almost like a home game for Palma. Snipers were getting booed during the intro. Right, I was trapped. It surprised <laughs> me, honestly. I'm like, wait, what? Well, but, yeah, you know, have the whole IRHL but, contingency. Right, but Palma travels well anyways. They always yeah. did, you know? Face off. Treft, I'm going to ask you this. Just because we talk about everything. We're very, I'm a very opinionated person. You are with me. On air, you are more politically correct. Yes. And, and it's great. I love it. But the officials, oh, here you go, Treft. Here's a chance on the right side. Seamer kicks it in front. There's a big scramble. And Redmond gets down on it. The officials we have for today's game, I have so much respect for Sarder. I don't know the one down here to the right that much. But it's huge to let guys play. And I think during the semifinals, and, and I didn't watch all of the semifinals where, the, where black guys played the snipers, so I can't speak much on that. But quarterfinals and semifinals, I think we didn't even notice referees that much, Treff. You know what I mean? No. And I think that's a great thing. So hopefully that remains what we'll get. Palma, the early advantage in pretty much everything, but they haven't scored yet. Seaver, long shot. That one is deflected wide. He scored the first goal at Narch. Now back the other way. The snipers looking for their first chance. Car Charlie Combs sends one off the blocker of Tartaglioni, and it comes out to Guzman at center. The young buck to the crafty veteran. Guzman to Greg Thompson. Greg Thompson shoots, and Tartaglioni makes the save. All right, real quick, just go through some scores so you know it's publicized. Jake Tarowski, Michigan guy, snipers, 6-3. That's a high-scoring game. I don't know if it's going to get that high, but we'll see. J.C. Campania, Pama, 4-3 winners. X-Factor, Kyle Mayhew from J.C. Campania. We'll get back to those in a minute, guys. Matt White lines up for the face-off. Puck is down. Face-off win by Olinger. Or to Olinger, I should say. Was behind the net and then smacked down by Palma. And back to get it as Redmond. I was talking to some of the Roadrunners, and I said, you know, what, what happened in that game, in that semi? And they said, Palma's forecheck is unbelievable as they get the puck on the forecheck. And it's just so hard to get anything going and any movement because of how good they are on the forecheck, and they bring it with all three lines. Matt White, tons of speed into the zone. Shoots Tartaglioni the save. Matt White, he was actually, I was talking to him in the office between the semi and the final. He said this is the first time he's played roller in three years. Wow. It took him a while to get a flow. Shot on net, punched away by Redmond. The Dell champion, Matt White, yeah. has turned into an incredible ice hockey career, which started all with roller hockey. He didn't even start ice. Is that ice. an injury on Sigmund's nose? Yes, he got high stick last game. But Matt White is one of those guys that started in roller, didn't, started ice late, and then has turned it into a fantastic career. Making the big bucks over in the top German league. Gotta love that. Good for him. P.J. Cavani. Yeah, the 6-3, the Jake Taraski, I'll tell you straight up, that 6-3 score is mind-boggling to me. It's a, it's a good, great prediction. I'll take it. That's cool. But I haven't had many of these games that high scoring. Puck goes rink wide. It's Junior Cadiz. Pass up to no. Possible two-on-one. Send over to Olinger. Shooting! And that one is blocked. Great stick by Cavaya. P.J. Cavaya easily... One Three of the two. best defensive players. Now it leads to the offense the other way. Matt White in, shoots, Tortaglioni the save. And he is dialed in as well. Great stop on the post 
321 left in the first. Raul Batista, Snipers 3 2 win it all. Unsung hero Shane Fox makes the small, smart plays. We also have Ben James, 4 2 Snipers. Hawkins is the unsung hero. Uh, let's see who else. Joe Shaw. The Shaws are watching. Matt says Snipers 4 2. Sigmund unsung. Drake says Knights 3 2. Mooney, unsung hero. Did you get John Gelman? I don't know if I did yet. Brought through center by Mayhew to Chavera. Chavera shoots. That one goes off of Redmond's knob of his stick and goes up and out of play. Phil Maroon, 4-3 snipers. Everybody make sure to hit up George. Yeah, Trefty's doing play-by-play. Play. It's yeah. hard for him to get to it. I just refreshed my requests. And man, <laughs> I didn't see a lot of this, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you've already texted me, make sure you text George, because I'm probably going to miss it. Echeverry has it behind the net for the Golden Knights. John, we're going to get to that, trust me. Mayhew, down the right side with speed. Crosses the red line. Mayhew looking, shooting. That goes off the shoulder of Redmond. Buck goes behind the goal. Shane Fox has it. Fox dancing around behind the net. Hawkins. Once that pass, he gets it. One time shot, it's blocked by Mayhew, and that one stung. Nice job by Hawkins. Gets the shot off Tartaglioni the save. Jason Morgan, 3-2 Palma. John Seymour, unsung hero. I'm going to try to get through all of these guys. I want to give all of you a shout out as much as I can. John Michael Leon, 3-2 Snipers. Okay. Let's see. Brandon Hawkins with a great shot there. There's a reason he won the Kelly Cup last year with my hometown, Fort Wayne Comets. 23 goals, 39 points, and 37 games for the Comets. Look at the burst of speed. Charlie Combs gets around the deep. Poke check by Tartiglione. It's laying in the crease. And if I can't get to all of these. And swept away by Delfino. Because trust, I'm already tired of reading them. So I'm just going to keep them all and see if anybody gets this final score. Jaden Guzman, shot blocker, save Tartaglione. Kramer cannot get to the loose puck. But keep sending them, guys. Keep sending them. But at since we're so late, I'm going to give you a minute, 20 seconds of play. to decide. Greg Thompson, back behind his own goal. 11-10 left in the first. Puck comes to center. Garrett Hart is going to get to it. The former Alaska ace could not handle that puck. Here comes Charlie Combs. Charlie Combs slips to the deep. Backhand shot, he scores! Huge goal for the snipers. That's. And I said, first goal, the bench erupts, the building erupts. You put all the pressure on the team from behind to catch up. And so I just think that first goal is so important. Combs with the first goal. Big goal for the Snipers. Just playing Captain Obvious here, but. That was a great stretch up the floor. Charlie Combs. Puts it home. Charlie Combs is one of those guys that if you don't watch him, he's going to burn you. Last year played for Michigan State after three years at Bemenji State, 10 points in 23 games, and then went to Wichita in the ECHL after the season ended. Five points in 17 ECHL games. Oh, yeah, and he's a pretty darn good roller hockey player, too. Here comes Sigmund, moving over to the left side. Sigmund forced to the corner. Big collision. Olinger knocks that puck free. Jack Combs. Charlie's older brother tries to get to the front of the net, knocked away. Now it's Travis Snow. Travis Snow into his offensive zone, passes the right side. Olinger back to no. That one's blocked, and it goes into the corner. 
Long pass up ahead, two on one. Matt White and Jack Combs. White, look, shoot, touch, take away the save, rebound. TNT, what a save. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk about it now. Here's the thing. I, there was a situation. Watch the replay here. Turnover created. Look at this, Matt White, one of the most dangerous goal scorers and roller. Oh, gets the glove on it. We were asked our opinion of the TNT start after maybe the best goaltending performance of the tournament with Clay Taylor last game. I thought Clay Taylor should have gotten the start. But TNT does provide you with saves like that that will pump your team up. And he's a proven winner. He's got championships under his belt. So did I think he was going to get the start? No. Nope. I think TNT was going to get the start. No, but listen, it's his job to prove me wrong. And I'm just here with my opinion. You know what they say opinions are like, George? Yeah, I do. Shane Fox back into his own zone. Sets up behind the net. 9-16 left in the first. Fox leaves it to J.P. Beals. Nice move off the end wall. Pass to himself. Here comes J.P. Right wing side. Out high Hawkins. Such a smooth redirect. Back into his own zone. That was silky. I like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Guy on him. Now it's Brandon Hawkins. So, of course, no more. There will be no more scores accepted. There's been a goal scored, but... I, sh I shut Brent it off. Hawkins in shots, and that one is blocked. Sorry. Sorry, Treft. I shut it off before that goal, so. Mooney tried to center it. Block comes back to him. Mooney, backhand shot. Oh, did he hit, boy. Did he hit the post, Treft? So close. Can we cue that up? I don't know if he hit the post or if, he, if there was a toe on it from Reds. Either way, it stays out of the net on a great chance from the Golden Knights. Now back the other way. J.P. Bielston, big slap shot, and this time it goes wide. He scored just like that earlier in the day. Seamer pokes into the corner. Puts a big hit on Guzman who fights through that. Now Greg Thompson off the wall. Going towards the net was Kyle Kramer. That one misses him. Big collision in behind the net. Oh boy, Delfino Varela slammed into the wall. Gets right back up though. Delfino, he's a warrior. Now John Seamer. Guzman falls down. Seamer in. Has some space. Shoots. Redman, a huge save. Wow. Wow. Now we've got some action going, Jeff. The action is coming now. Man, oh man, this thing picked up. This thing, I didn't expect, especially with only a one nothing score, I expect it to be an easy going kind of possession game, but I'm loving the end-to-end -end physical action. I'm loving it, Treft. I wish. There's the back check by Daniel Echeverry on Hawkins. Let me come back the other way. I want to see. Hit, hit the post. Wow. Redmond was beat. I wish we could put the cam a camera on the other side to show you our side. Because right below us, there's literally not a seat open. Right. The other right. side, there's a few few holes. Just because there's banners, people that can't look around them. But, I mean, this place is packed. There's at least 3K in here. Segment to the front of the net. Tartaglioni says, not today. And a 25K check. Well, 20 and depending on what they decided to do. Because it's 25 total. It should be 20 to the winner, 5 to second place. But usually they do winner take all. I'm sure Palma would do winner take all, right? I don't know. Maybe these teams want some insurance, Treft. That's very progressive of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, don't hit me. You just tapped me because you thought I didn't get it. No, I got it, Treft. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, that's it. That one had some great flow. That joke. Ba -doom -ching. Here's Sigmund. Shoots! Tartaglione the save. It's bouncing around. Goes to the left corner. Puck comes behind the net. Olinger takes it, spins away from Jack Combs. Big Jack comes back and knocks it away. Thomas, who scored the game-winning goal earlier today in that game, where he just got so open against Marsblade and put them ahead late. Here he gets pinned up against the boards, and Cavaya smacks it back into his own end for Sigmund. Both benches, just fire, you can tell over there. This is the type of game I could sit and watch all day, Treft. Give us three, four periods, why not? Yeah, six and a half left, and it doesn't even feel like... 
You've been going that long. Brandon Hawkins wraps it around the back of the net, all the way back into his own zone. Time flies when you're having fun, George. It does. It We're does. having a heck of a time. Sigmund sends one up the wall. Shane Fox slowing things down just as it got good and hanging out behind the net. He's got 10 seconds. And now he moves as the countdown started. Down under six minutes to go in period number one. George shots are 11 to nine in favor of the Snipers. They lead one to nothing. Charlie Combs the tally. Brandon Hawkins crosses the red line. Long distance shot, Tartaglione to the save, and he hangs on as the snipers were streaking towards the front of the net. Oof. I'm loving this game. I don't know why. I'm just obsessed with this type of game. Like, it's tight checking at moments. It's physical at moments. It's end, end action at moments. Right now in the first period, we're th just about 13 minutes in, and we've had everything. In front, Tommy Bruce. Well, loses the puck and then slides it wide of the net. Charlie Combs, who's been an absolute force this game. Wrist shot, nearly had a second, but he's it feeling in it. Front. He's feeling it right now. Snipers are thinking, get the puck to 1 1. Shane Fox in front, deflected on that little pad. Beautiful save. Great save by TNT. Big tie up along the half wall. Who's going to come away with it? Two Knights, two snipers. Now a third Knight gets in there. Shane Fox is literally standing there, nonchalant. I'm not moving. Yeah, and then when, the when they blows. stop working at it, when they stop working on it, it's over. The referee blows it dead. Snipers pin that puck up against the wall, so that's why this faceoff is at center. It's coming outside. Like Treff said. Eitan Chavera. Face off one by Chavera. Puck comes behind the net. At Chavera. Slips a check. The Colombian, Daniel Echeverry, out of Medellin. Back behind the net for Ethan Chavera. Beautiful Chivera. city. Chavera into the zone. Right wing side. Circles around the back of the net. Sends it in front. Redmond got a piece. Now Sigmund, got that big patch on his nose. Looked like he just got a nose job. <laughs> I remember when I got mine. I'm just kidding, <laughs> kidding. Gets it to Matt White. Matt White gets around Mayhew, shoots. Tartaglione makes the save. Those two might be playing each other in the future in ice hockey as well as Mayhew has had a fantastic career at Denver. We all know what Matt White has done as of late. 1989 birth here, Matt White with that last chance. Played for East Baron Berlin last year. Really hope I said that right. Got the Berlin part for sure. He's a Clark Cup champion in the USHL. He's a Dell champion. And how many times has he won the Palma Pro Championship? Matt White last year, 39 points in 38 games in the Dell. Also had five KHL games, George. Look at the KHL. Really? For I think that's one of the Dyna most interesting facts. Dynamo Riga. <laughs> Ten points in nine playoff games as well. En route to a championship for Berlin. Sigmund. Not unfamiliar with Europe as well. Many years of professional roller hockey overseas. Gets it to Shane Fox. He had a couple years over in Europe as well. Breaks into the zone, now curls back. Let's go Palma is the chant in the crowd. Mostly brought on by the IRHL Golden Knights. All their youth players are here wearing the jerseys, cheering on the big club. Shane Fox is trying to stymie this chant. He's just hanging out behind the net. Wait. Shots are 15-9 here, Treft. Snipers. Snipers lead there. They were 9-9 at one point. Imagine if Palma got one of those early goals on those Redmond saves. Now Fox in, shoots Tartaglione to the save. It pops free. 
and then Tartaglione gets back on it and gets the cover. That's one thing you don't want to let Shane Fox do is just walk in and shoot. Bama's going to need some chances here. They're going to need to, they're gonna need to get, get some more traffic in front of Redmond, get more pucks to the net. Coming up at halftime, George, we have the two-word shoot to win. Yeah, 16 shots are a lot in the first period. Yeah. So I'm going to run down to the floor, and one lucky fan will have the opportunity to win wheels, gloves, and skates wow. from tour. And I'm going to step away while you run out of the floor. Yeah, we've got a five-minute intermission. This one brought up by Gonzalez. Left wing side, long range shot, right into the same. It's loose and chipped just wide by John John Seymour. The name's so nice, you got to say it twice. Here comes Charlie Combs into the zone, left wing side, shoots. That one wraps around the boards and comes back to center Greg Thompson, whose young daughter is watching his her first Bomber Pro Tour. <laughs> Wearing the Greg Thompson jersey shirt. Greg Thompson into the zone, shoots, that one goes wide. Congratulations to Greg and his wonderful lady, beautiful young daughter. Garrett Hart, pass to the right side. Delfino Varela, played college roller for the Cal Golden Bears. Back behind the net to Garrett Hart. Hart back to Mayhew. Played the last couple years for Rinkrat, making the transition to Palma here. It's got Mooney going to the net. Tries to get it there, but blocked by Sigmund. Now Mayhew comes away with this puck out of a corner battle. In front, Chimera shoots and scores! Ita Chimera! We're tied at one, minute and nine seconds left in the first. And I did say before the game, not patting myself on the back or anything, but timely goals. At the end of a period, down one nothing right before the intermission, he scores that goal. Sometimes the worst situation is pucks that don't go where you plan for them to go like that. Play, it was broken up at the defense and that actually worked to the disadvantage, to the detriment of the snipers. It was a fortuitous bounce. Yeah, yeah. He Man, breaks he left early. Jack Combs, they're talking about the line change. The line yeah. change. P.J. Cavallo. Dancing around in his own end. Sigmund over the State Wars 17 logo at center. 30 seconds to go in period number one, George. Sigmund. My prediction is it will end this way. Kavaya tried to go to Jack Combs, knocked away. Mayhew another lucky bounce. Man, and I'm gonna be it right. From him. I'm gonna be right, Treft. It's not that much of a hot take. Jack Combs shoots. Tartaglione right, to seconds. save. <laughs> Echeverry collects. Maybe one more shot. Echeverry drops it to Mooney. Mooney turns back. There's five seconds left. Now to Mayhew. He'll shoot at the horn. And Redmond punches it away. Well, period one comes to a close. And we are tied at one. We're going to take a break. i got to head down to the floor. We'll be back for the second period on SWH Live. Tonight, Nature Boy Ric Flair and Car Shield team up against the expensive Car Repair Brothers for the championship belt. Woo! Let me go on record and say Nature Boy and Car Shield will eliminate expensive car repairs when you're the greatest alive, the heavyweight champion, and have Car Shield as your partner, you can't lose. Woo! Expensive car repairs, Ric Flair and Car Shield are coming for you. Woo! Car Shield Car and Go Park. Call 800 579 6554.
Well, welcome back into SWH Live, George. Just about to start the second period. Big goal late from Palma. Tied at one with the Snipers. I love it. You're so professional. You're trying to act like you're not out of breath. <laughs> Bro, you are dogging it right now. <laughs> he ran from down to the floor to up here. <sighs> Get on camera, George. <sighs> yeah, we'll go on camera. And then I snapped right back out of it. Yes. Listen, Jeff, we talked about it before the game. It's... That Ethan Chavira moment that he had, end of the period, yeah. scoring that goal, down the whole pe down the whole period, first period, didn't even get much action in on Redmond. And I even said that they had to get some more traffic yeah. in front of him, more shots to the net. Ethan gets that off of, off of a crazy bounce. Minute left, we've got an even game, and to win 20K, you got to win one period now. Snipers, if I'm them, I'm not changing the thing. Nope. We had everything. We had. Two goals scored in that period. Great we had period. great goaltending. We had physical play. We had skill plays. We had everything in that period. End-to-end -end action, possession game. I think it was a great job by both teams. If I'm either team, I'm not changing anything. The nope. only thing I might change is a couple, a few more pucks to the net if I'm Palma. Well, one more period left, George. The puck is down, and we're underway. <laughs> Opening possession of period number two goes to the Snipers. Now, in the pro championship, you get a little bit more rest at that intermission. So we'll see if either of these teams can take advantage of that. For Palma, they didn't want the bigger break because that gave the momentum potentially back to the snipers. They had all the momentum at the end of the period. Yeah. Now there's that break yeah. and allows the snipers to recover a lot better. It's like the beginning of the game now, to be honest yeah. with you. Or, or right where we started, tied. But that also does that works to Palma's advantage because you're not playing from behind anymore. That goal was still huge. Pass comes up to Jack Combs. Now to Kavaya, back into his own zone. Kavaya behind the net. Pass comes up to Shane Fox. Fox back behind the goal. 1640 left in the second. Packed house here at the St. Peter's Recplex. Shane Fox. Trying to get away from the forechecking Travis No. Sly as a fox from Foxy there. Slips away. Sends it up to Guzman. The speedster into the zone. Crosses the red line. Drops it back to Hawkins. Hawkins shoots! He scores! Wow. Brandon Hawkins uses the screen of J.P. Bielstein and the snipe for the snipers. Two to one, Mission Levada. Hawkins does it again. All started with Fox slipping away from that Travis No four check. It's funny, that bounce sometimes, a crazy bounce messes every, everybody's rhythm up. It was, a, it was an errant pass on the back of the net. But it sprung Guzman to have a little bit more room on that play. It's crazy how these things happen in our sport, guy. Chavera drop pass Mayhew. They're looking for a response. Shot. That one is blocked in front by Guzman. Great defensive play from the youngster. Hawkins up to Bielstein. Bielstein tries to find Guzman and hits off his skate. Potential odd man the other way. Fox hustles to get back. Hawkins, the forward, playing back. Chavera gets around him. Centers it. Mayhew hooked from behind. No matter what, good penalty. Yes. Mayhew gets on that puck. We're tied at two. And JP is still arguing about it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just because it's JP. But he knows he saved a goal. You know, when coaches say good penalties, that's it. Here's the replay. What a play from Chavera. Oh, my, what a play. And he had to. Yeah. He had to. A wide open net. Now, if the sniper's penalty kill can come through. It's a, if the sniper's penalty kill comes through, it's the best penalty of the tournament. Yes. If they win 2-1, to one, it's probably the best penalty in the last five years. Yeah. So, I mean, take it. Olinger. But I'd still like to see JP there 
say, just say, I had to. Yeah. Instead of arguing the call. Oh, and sure. Shoots off the goalpost. They say it's in. Yeah, I think that did, but we'll look at it. I'm sure we'll look at it, but I think that definitely went in. Off the post and in for Mollinger. We're tied hey, at two. Hey, listen, you talk about referees in position. He was. We'll see here on the replay. Middle bar, middle bar, post, middle bar, out. One more time, please. Post, middle bar, out. One more time, here, please. George, here it comes. Moments, we can slow down. See Olinger the shot. Okay, slow that down, Treff. Thank you. Can you play it? Roll it back just a little bit. Slow it here. Slow it here. Slow it here. Slow it here. Stop it. Boom. Yeah. yeah that's middle, a goal. Bar, middle bar. Post middle bar. Middle bar. Post middle bar goal. Post middle bar goal. That's a goal. Absolutely. One more time. One more time just to be sure for the people at home. Oh, they call it a goal already. Yep. That's a goal. 2-2. Two, two. Go ahead. Go ahead. Roll that. Just for S's and G's. Great shot by Oldinger coming up. Such a quick one. Post middle bar. Good positioning from the referee. Bang, bang. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's in. Great positioning by by the ref, like Evans, what? Evans. Evans, great job. Here comes Junior Cadiz. Puck goes up in that one. Yeah, the corner. Still a good penalty, not the best Absolutely though. Absolutely <laughs> a good penalty. Jordan Thomas falls down, puck goes down low. Cadiz fights through a check. Sigmund takes him down from behind. You guys that have been teammates many times oh, in this USA. Is, this is, can you ask for anything better? This is the drama you wanted, the good kind of drama. Oh, right. Good Not going. That gossip don't guy. call me with the, the gossip. Good this kind is of drama. Good. G O O D T. The good <laughs> drama. That's what my pastor say. Get, it's getting good. Oh. Well, if anyone's still listening, Charlie Combs with the puck moving up the floor. Crosses the line. Wrist shot. Tartaglione to the save. Guzman gets the loose puck and fires it back. Well, it's still a great penalty, like you said. Absolutely. And Olinger has been missing that shot on the power play all tournament. He got one earlier yeah, down here. Yeah, and then he here. got the last one in the last round robin game. And now it pays dividends as he goes off the post, off the middle bar to tie the game. Guzman, right side. Drop for Charlie Combs. George, I'm just saying it. I know it's way too far away. <laughs> We've never had an overtime in the Prama Pro Championship. Is that right? Pass up to Brandon Hawkins. Fakes the shot, cuts to the slot. Hawkins shoots! No, no goal! goal. Tartaglione. Was down. He's not giving him a penalty, it's just face off outside. Let's roll that back, please. Let's see it. What a nasty play, though, by Hawkins. Guzman is making a living out of just soft drop passes to Hawkins. <laughs> oh, wow. Rewind that for me. Wow. Play it again, play it again. Next stop, next stop. Just cue it up, cue it up. Now we'll go right now. Go ahead. Wow, wow. Um, um, okay. Eton Chavera. Keep it for me if you can, because I'd love to see it again later. Mooney into his offensive zone, drops it for Eton, doesn't force it, turns it back. Wow. I don't think that was much at all. Treft? TNT and made it look good. Made it look great. Hey, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Man. It's a smart play if it works, because if it doesn't, and the referee sees that he and I'm embellished out here. it a little, then and it's I'm an out easy here goal and I still Hawkins. haven't booked an acting job. And this guy here, 
making all the right moves. Hi, Glenn. <laughs> Surprised you're here. <laughs> I'm about it. to get a net Netflix gig. Listen, I'm helping I'm you, George. You. I was helping George with his auditions the other day. Mooney to the left side. Make you shoots, just missed it. Echeverry out high, Mooney. Gets to Echeverry and they go back into their own zone. That is a very smart play. A youngster might so have forced that. One of two things here, Treft. If that happens on TNT and the referee says that he did not, that TNT initiated contact and doesn't and allows the goal, it's a horrible play by TNT because he's trying to draw a penalty. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier. But Matt White fires it out to the point. Now they get it to Sigma. Sigma turns, fires. That one is blocked. Wow. Okay, I played it for you. I have it queued up for the next stop because I want to see what you think. I played it for you twice already, folks. We played it for you here. What do you think? Goal, no goal? Was it, did he initiate contact? Or was it on TNT? Matt White flying down the side. Gonzalez staying right with him, forces the turnover. Nice D from Gonzalez. Olinger has Sigmund and that long poke check all over him, but he fights free. Olinger, the game's most recent goal scorer, has it behind the palm of net, 10.45, left in the second. Up to center for no. Over the center circle, drop pass, Cadiz. Cuts right now, left shoots, it's blocked. And it pops over to the near side. Combs is... Charlie Combs tried to get in front for Big Brother Jack, and that one was knocked away. Nice play. They give it to Fox. He's got a lane. Shoots! Tartaglioni the save. Good Travis step, Snow. Sig. Maybe too much sauce. They got a man behind the defense. The puck oh. was rolling, though, and it's turned over. Jordan Thomas wanted to get that, but he rushed it because it was Jack bouncing Combs on Sigmund him. Sigmund go to the net. Gets it there. Sigmund tries a backhand, and Tartaglioni pokes it away. He wants a whistle, so he covers it. His team was yelling at him to throw it, but he makes a smart play. Man. Can we watch that play one more time? Just cue it up once more. I just want to see it. Can we go a little slower once we get in? I don't know if it's too late to tell you, but as we get in closer to the goaltender, coming up here. Man. I mean, I still think that's no goal, George. I'll be honest. Yeah. Like, he embellished, yeah, maybe. but he, he still maybe. got bumped into while he was in the crease or at the top. He didn't bump into him, though. Yeah, he did. He threw a shoulder. It was light. It was light. Okay. He went down okay. too easy, George. Back to live action. Me. But I don't mind the, the no goal there. Kramer shoots. Tartak, you're the save. It's loose. And taken down in front was Charlie Combs. Another game saving, or goal saving, excuse me, penalty. Yeah. This one had to be called, too. And Combs was probably getting to that puck. Absolutely. That's a good penalty. Yeah. Combs, Combs was tapping yeah. it in. All right. Snipers get the opportunity. Palma scored on their power play. Snipers need to do the same. Huge penalty Fox, kill. Fox, White, this game. Combs, Hawkins. Who do you cover? You kind of just have to hope they hit the post. White. The Fox shoots. That one's blocked. Harsh Seamer and who else is in the kill? Gonzalez? Delfino. Delfino, Morello. okay. Shane Fox over to Hawkins. One time shot, he scores! Get it to the lethal goal scorer with the one timer. An absolute bomb from his favorite spot on the left wing circle. And somehow that sneaks past our tag Leone. Boy, oh boy. Fox with the pass. I mean, the kid was shooting over 100 miles an hour, a roller puck, when he was 15. Like, he's he's got an NHL shot. That's not an exaggeration. You know, oh, that NHL-like shot? He has an NHL shot. That's why he's scoring so much in pro ice hockey. And when he shoots a roller puck, it's just straight up dangerous to everyone involved. Here comes Travis Snow looking to get that goal back. Or scratch that, it's Mooney. 
Well, Hawkins just continues to be effective in every facet. Continues to be effective. Here comes Guzman to center, drops it back. J.P. Bielstein. Banked off the wall. Hawkins. <laughs> Shane Bennett texts me, new drinking game. Take a shot every time Georgie says, cue it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you don't want these people too wasted. <laughs> right. Guzman in front. Sigmund gets a stick to the bench. Loose on the goal line. Oh, how did that stay out? out? Jinx, you owe me an organic snack. That's two, Georgie. <laughs> he tundra vera. Two healthy organic snacks, huh? Got it. Can we cue that up? Because I want to see what happens. <laughs> Take a shot. Uh, all right. I want to see what happened on that back door one, please. Cadiz, drop pass, hits off his own skate. And now it's PJ Cavaya to Charlie Combs. Wrist shot, tar tackle under the glove safe. Here's your replay, George. OK. Guzman's coming. Oh, off the side of the net. Off the side of the net. I used to, he just didn't have the space, Mr. Guzman. Okay. John Michael Leon helped me out. He sent me a slow mo video. Yep, right call, no goal. I'm with you. Travis Snow, beautiful move. Cuts in, sitters it. Cadiz had a stick tied up. Jordan Thomas had it poked away. Charlie Combs, oh, right in front of that open door. That was scary. Charlie Combs avoids the contact, though. Now it's Palma on the attack. Drops it back to Jordan Thomas. Travis No. Pass up the left side. Got it knocked away. It's fired back. Jordan Thomas. Behind the goal. 6.30 left in the second, George. Man, I don't want this one to end. Me neither. I'm actually enjoying it. So like a two-hour post game. Here's Travis Snow. Yeah, nah. Pass to the right side. Kitty, he's back to no. One time shot. Redmond robs him. I don't think he got what he wanted on that one. Now it's Matt White. Leaves it behind the goal for Tommy Bruce. Up to Sigmund. Sigmund pass to Hawkins. One time shot, pad stop by Tartaglioni. Here comes Eton. He scored some huge goals all tournament. Indirect pass. Eventually, it gets to his target. Shot from a bad angle. That one goes over top of the net from Seymour. He'll get back to it at center. John, John Seymour moving around. Now it turns up the floor. 3-2 lead for the Snipers. Seymour cuts over to the far boards. Now turns back. Gives it to Delfino. Delfino Varela getting some big minutes here for Palma. Delfino long range shot. Redmond the pad stops. Seymour to the rebound, slap shot. Breaks the stick of Sigmund. Now Seymour gets to the puck. Having some trouble with it at center. Gets upended. Jumps back up. Still has the puck. Can anybody get it away from Seymour? Finally, it takes three of them. That's a great shift from Seymour. It is. He makes... Oh, a huge hit behind the net. Oh! Charlie Combs, a cross check there. <coughs> now Shane Fox into the offensive zone. Cuts left. Shoots. Tartaglioni the save. 428 left in the second. 3-2 to two lead in favor of the Sniper. Man, oh man, Treft. Could you have asked for anything more? Overtime. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can ask yeah, for more. You can. I don't care who wins. I just want to see some entertaining hockey. That's what we're getting. Buck goes behind the net. Junior Cadiz moving up the floor. Pass to the left side. Travis Snow. Drop pass. Finds Olinger. Palma's been in the situation before. Noel will probably play the last four minutes. <laughs> nah. Maybe a shift now, one break, and then a shift again if they're still down. Well, no matter what, down or up. Olinger. To Cadiz. Cadiz, high slot. He shoots. It's blocked. Goes up and out of play. Sniper's doing a great job blocking shots. And then when they do block it, it goes on Redmond, who's been exceptional. Yes, and listen, TNT has been great in this game, too. He's faced 26 shots. 17, I think, were in the first period. It's been more of a tight second period, a closer second period in shots, but both goaltenders are playing well. Backhand feed up to Cadiz. Cadiz crosses the red and turns right back. Backhand pass. Here comes Palma, Olinger, into his offensive zone. Drop pass for Travis No. Tried to go back to Olinger, it missed. And No's gonna get to it. Oh, he goes flying into the end wall. No, trying to keep this puck for Palma. Sent it up the boards, poked by Cadiz. Plays it down low. Now out front, a chance shot over top of the net. Unbelievable work from Cadiz. Now a shot, deflected off the post and into the corner. Now Brandon Hawkins at center, lost it. Travis Snow has got to be exhausted. He's had an amazing shift. Yeah, he is. Hawkins has some space. He shoots Tartaglioni the save, and that shot nearly knocked him over. Now back in front, Tartaglioni plays it out of his glove. 2.36 left to go. You know what I'm about He's to say, George? He's looking at 2.36. It's early. Buckle your seatbelts. He's waving at the coaching staff, but it's early. Maybe getting the snipers thinking, though. Tommy T is like, let's go. It's too early. He might just be tired. He's faced a ton of shots. He's played well. He's played great. Now Junior Cadiz heads up the floor. And he loves this big stage. And Who doesn't? Uh, I know some guys who don't. <laughs> Mayhew. They're giving no arrest. Now that Tommy's not paying attention now. Now he's not paying attention. Oh, okay, that's the longest skate ever. <laughs> can we get that? Can you cue that up? I want to see Tommy skate off the rink. Not right now. In a minute, not right but now, yeah. but I want to see him skate off. <laughs> I got to love it. You'd probably think they want to whistle for a timeout soon. Travis Snow goes into the corner, gets pinned up, though. It's three on two for the snipers. Palma has more skaters on the rink. They need to get they in there. They got the whistle. They got, do we have the goaltender skating off the rink? It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Almost as funny as when TNT two-handed Martinez. Yeah. Did we, we get him? Let's see if we get it. Let's see if we get it. <laughs> one more time. Play it again. Yeah. The way TNT just you gotta film this, Merrigan. It was like he was in, like sand skating, like. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Okay, we're gonna record it. We got You gotta give it to me one more. This is so great. Here he goes. This is so <laughs> great. <laughs> he was trucking. He was trucking. TNT was trucking, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hope you guys are laughing at home like we are. So who are the four out here? No, Cadiz, Seamer, Olinger. Is it Mayhew or is it Ethan Chavera? 
who will jump. I don't know who it's going to be if they gain possession. Face off win by Palma. Olinger goes forward with it, though. Now smacks it back. There goes TNT again. <laughs> I love it. It's Mayhew. Severe and not out there. Ooh, one minute remaining in this game, George. Olinger to Mayhew. Gave him a rocket. Now Mayhew to Travis Snow. To Mayhew. Mayhew. Over to Olinger, down low, Cadiz in front, to no, knocked out of midair by Bielstein. That saved a goal, what a play. Olinger, down low to Cadiz. Cadiz, back to Olinger, shots, that one is blocked. Comes to the near side, no, plays it down low. Big collision. Seymour trying to come away with this puck, with help from no, he does. No, out to the point. 27 seconds to go, Mayhew. Over to Olinger, Olinger to Mayhew. Waiting, looking, shooting, just wide, comes back out front, it's bouncing around, shot again, goes wide. Now Seymour, centering feet block, another try through the middle, that 15. missed. 15, Mayhew, out to the point, Travis Snow, fakes the shot, cuts to his left, no, backhand to the cross, oh, nobody there. Five. Cadiz has it, five seconds, Cadiz out high to Olinger, Olinger to the near side, Travis Snow shoots, save Redmond, it's cleared by the Snipers, and the Mission Labina Snipers of the 2021. Palma Pro Champions! Wow, George. Great game. Absolutely great game. You couldn't have asked for a better game. Both goaltenders were great. TNT was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Anybody who questioned the start, he answered every question there. He was phenomenal. Man. Thank goodness I got this honey here. I wouldn't have a voice. That overall, was such a fun game. Overall, the snipers just had so much power here. They outshot him 28-17. They were one shot better. Great game, man. Brandon Hawkins, two goals, including the game winner. Guy is an absolute monster. Wow. Well, I guess you got to put Hawkins at number three for our argument earlier. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to both teams on an unbelievable tournament. Congratulations to the Mission Levada Snipers, another Palma Pro Championship. This was the two best teams. They proved that. Yes, take nothing away from every other team in this tournament, in this Palma Pro, but this proved, this, these, this was the game you wanted. These are the two best teams. TNT they and performed. Kavaya having a moment there. They performed at the right times. They just got it done, man. They got it done. They performed at the right time. And these, I mean, these are the two organizers of this tournament, too. Tim McManus, this is his tournament. This Snipers pride and beat, joy. This Pama, is Snipers Pama beat, Pro. Snipers beat Connix first, they then had to be Black Ice, shut him out, and then won this game here. I mean, Connix. Palma had to go Connix through. gave him a great game. Absolutely. Black Ice obviously gave them a great game. Palma had to go through. Who did they go through first? Rinkrat. Rinkrat. No, no. No. Mars Blade? Mars Blade. That they was went through Mars Blade first. Yeah. And Mars Blade had a two-goal lead. Yeah. And then they came back on the Roadrunners. Then they had to come back on the Roadrunners. And, and here, they just didn't have enough here. They ran out of time here. No traffic. Oh, it's not like we're done, because we but we are on SWH Live. Yeah. It's always great calling games with you. I hope everyone here enjoyed it. We know we don't get some of you guys. for 
We know we we don't get some of you guys for the other games on Live Barn because people watch specific players on that and they're not watching pro just to yeah. watch pro. So we know we don't see you guys for the remainder of the time sometimes and these are the only games you watch. So we thank you for watching. We hope it's not we're not NBC, ESPN or anything, so we just have a blast doing this. Yeah. Like there's no I talk over him more than I should talk over him and cue it up more than I should cue it up, but I just hope I make way too many corny puns. Uh, I just hope you guys had a good time watching us and watching the Palma Pro. We hope we make it enjoyable yeah. for you guys, at least the games that I'm not coaching. We hope we make it enjoyable to watch, not just the hockey, but to listen to us too. And we thank you for dealing with us. We hope you had a great time, but we had a great time watching and broadcasting these games. Well, George, the Royal Hockey family is a just one big family. Yeah, right? absolutely. So that's why we, that's, we're having fun with you guys, watching great, phenomenal hockey, the best roller hockey players in the world, yeah. interacting with you guys. We look forward to this all year long. We go to tours, we have a great time. We come yeah. here to stay worse, we have a great time yeah. with everyone. Yeah. And it's just, it's just a pleasure calling games for you. Thank you for all the kind words. We really do appreciate it. Um, as much as we joke around, we do put a lot of time and effort into this. We do, so, we do. We want to make sure you guys have the best product. So And we had, and we had. it's easy to call games when you have talent out here like this. Yeah. When you have great games, upsets, and how many games can we call an upset anymore? Yeah. I mean, honestly, and take nothing away from these teams, the only upsets would have been if Futures of the Silver Knights actually won a game this yeah. tournament. And take nothing away from either of those teams, but they came in knowing that they were those teams in the brackets yep. and the pools. And so we had no major no major crazy upsets, but it was a phenomenal tournament. And congratulations to the Snipers, congratulations to Palma, congratulations to all the playoff teams are gonna get an invite back next year. Yep. So all the playoff teams, you're gonna see teams get stronger, make the adjustments they believe they need to make to be in this game. And thank you so much, Tim McManus. Thank you to State Wars for putting on this production to give us the opportunity to bring everything to you. Thank you to Mr. Video for doing a phenomenal job. Thank you all for watching. George, thank you. Jeff, as always, always, my guy. It's always so much fun. As always, it's a great time, man. So for the last time, 2021 on SWH Live, I'm Chris Treft. He's George Brown. We'll see you. Stay boys, we're going to let you see our seat.